Does anybody want to say anything else before we split? No, I think this is fun. Every time I learn, yes, I learn fun. something. Every every time I learn, I learn something uh, something new. And and these discussions, they are they are often rare, um, and we should do it more often. Also at competitions. I mean, every time I meet Dan or Alex, uh, also at competitions, there's always something that I take away, take back home, and like, ah, you know, those guys are damn smart. <laughs> but uh, but I was like. Sometimes. Alex in Canada, yeah. so we gotta be, we gotta, we gotta be careful. Uh, that's not an ideal situation. Him being there, um, so like with with Dan is also great because Dan is is somebody who who shares knowledge so so willingly and 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 is 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 always like trying to find the better way in, in fencing. And then I mean with with Alex, we meet more often because we are always at the same place, um, and and. It's always fun to to talk on this level um, and like pushing the your own yeah. boundaries a little. I love it. Like I, I'm at the point in my life, and I think especially uh, after the pandemic, where uh, I know how good it feels to have success in the sport. So I no longer look at anybody else's success as a reflection badly upon myself, and I'm just happy. For my friends who are having success because I know how good it feels like when uh when Greg Conan when Colin won I'll go back to picking on him when won Paris uh, like I texted Greg I was like this must feel amazing because I know how I know how amazing it felt when race won it but for like a Frenchman to win to win Paris to win the CIP just must feel amazing and I was just so happy for him That's yeah, awesome. I, I know yeah. I have the same feelings. Like I always look forward to this is the best part about being a fencing coach. If you For went sure. to the tournament, you were just alone, it would kind of suck. <laughs> but you usually, well, thankfully, recently you're you're there with your friends. And uh yeah, I, I echo what I don't know one of you probably I think it was Ralph who said something about being willing to like share knowledge. Like I, I don't think there are any secrets in fencing and 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 like Dan said, like, I'm just happy to see my friends doing well. So I, I'm happy we can get together and talk about it and not have this weird feeling like, oh, like, sh how much should I be yeah. saying? There's no secrets in this sport. It's just everybody, like, and again, uh, it, just in general, uh, good, uh, what is it? Good artists copy and great artists steal. <laughs> if, if, if something's working, I'm just, why like well, Alex you said why reinvent the wheel if you're doing something that's working and, you, and, you're, and you're making medals and world cups yeah of course I'm going to take it thank you yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually before fencing I came from a video game background and I used to go to uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee tournaments and I, I did that at a pretty high level also and something that I think is much more prevalent in that community is information sharing. Whereas like, I've worked with some coaches who are like, here's the thing, but you can't tell anybody about this like secret thing that we do. Whereas like, I still follow <laughs> Melee very closely, whatever it is. Um, I still follow Melee very closely. And there was a, a lot of the time after a set is over, they'll ask the player who won or the player who lost, like come sit down and talk about it a little bit. And I was really blown away. This this guy who's like number one in the world, very dominant right now, he beat the number two guy in the world very badly. And they sat down and were talking to him about it. And he's like, oh, I was doing all these things. And he didn't really adapt to those very well. But if he had, then I would have done like these things in response to that. And I'm surprised he hasn't like tried these things yet because th I think they would work really well against me. And I personally even think that might be like a little too much information, but it's just for fencing. I find a lot of the time that that's that, attitude is totally missing where people do try to keep secrets and they have their things that work really well and they don't want to share them with anyone so thank you for being so like forthcoming with with questions like these well that guy that guy is real self-confidence yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's not that's not him he's like all right i can tell you how you should probably try to beat me but Deep down inside, he believes that he's going to win anyway, right? Probably. Like, 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 oh, second intention. <laughs> he wants him to try it, and he has yeah. already done, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or it's not just, just him. Want, like, that's, he, that's wants, the... he, 
he wants to push the game forward. Exactly. You know That's the mean? active yeah. exactly. like He, exactly. he loves exactly. – He lo- like he wants – and I'm sure it's the same thing, Ralph and, and Alex. You love it when you, you've you shown somebody a system and they make the next logical jump that you were going to teach them before. Oh, before it's so you, cool. And it's amazing. And it's so <laughs> – it's so – and I, I think that's what this guy was thinking about. Like, this is where I see this going. How come – How I want to share my thinking with you about yeah. how I see the video game. It's, it, yeah. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah, and, that's cool. And additionally, like every time someone comes up with like a new technique or a strategy that is like provably quantifiably better than like something else, they don't try to keep it themselves. They like, they like make a post about it or make a video about it so that everyone can like start exploring this thing. Well, well, and again, I, well, I think I that's think, just so different from the attitude in general in our community. But I think also the difference I, I obviously I know nothing about competitive video game playing, so excuse my ignorance. Obviously, but like there the yes, there is reaction time, and people are faster at processing reactions. And but the actual actions of making the video game do something are infinitely more simple than yes, the they're more, actions. They're more binary for sure. And it's like you can just do like there are some people that can't make a parry for it to disengage the post the way Ralph could. Or they're so they're like they just they don't do they can't do a one tempo action attack no matter how many times they practice it in the <laughs> so it's like the, the, we have we have I think other limitations than like a video game but in terms of like in terms of like the way that you deal with a problem set like you said like at Ralph like you you give somebody one problem fencing and you'll get ten different solutions. And it doesn't matter which one is more right than the other. It's like the one that's right is the one that makes the light that go is, on. Your, yeah, exactly. your light go on. And who, who gives a crap about anything else? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys again for, for having this conversation. This was fun. Yeah. Do it it again. Yeah, super fun. Let's do it again. Awesome. All right.